Spaso House, an architectural gem of Moscow. The U.S. ambassador to Russia's residence is located on a secluded side street in a historic section of Moscow, not far from the famed Old Arbat Street and the 18th century Church of the Savior on the Sands. Built in 1913 for a wealthy local merchant, the house became the residence of the U.S. ambassador in 1933. Today, the residence is called Spaso House, a name that is well recognized in Moscow as synonymous with the U.S. Embassy. For 80 years, U.S. ambassadors have taken care of this neoclassically designed home, which has a special place in the city's architectural history. The first owner of the mansion was Nikolai Vtorov, one of the wealthiest and well-known Russians of the early 1900s. Spaso House was designed by two Moscow architects, Vladimir Adamovich and Vladimir Mayat, who often worked together. Construction began in May 1913 and was completed by the end of the summer. A great feat for a home of this size. The grandeur of the house contrasted greatly with the modest buildings surrounding the home, as captured in a rare period photograph by famous Moscow photographer Gautier Dufayet. The main facade of the mansion is expressive. Its focus is a solemn semi-rotunda with ionic columns. The semi-rotunda is located over a balcony that faces a large semi-circular window crowned with sculpted figures of flying glories. The colonnade continues in side porches with widely spaced paired columns between which sits a semi-circular niche. A separate decorative element of the main facade is a molded sculpture with ancient mythological subjects located on the fascia of the semi-rotunda and on round medallions on the walls. The main entrance to the mansion is to the left of the drive under an archway. The small lobby's interior is decorated with paintings in the Empire style. They were painted by Ignaty Gnivinsky, a well-known painter and graphic artist of the 1910s in the field of monumental and decorative painting. Gnivinsky designed paintings of zodiac signs for the interior archways in the lobby. Today, these arches are covered with whitewash and no one knows if Gnivinsky's zodiacs were ever painted there. The brightly painted lobby contrasts with dark green columns, giving a sense of coolness and solemnity. This small colonnade connects the lobby with a lounge serving as a preamble to one of the main design themes of the home's ceremonial interior, decorative columns. The fireplace in the lounge is not original to the house. It was installed only in 2004 in preparation for a ball that honored the famous book The Master and Margarita by author Mikhail Bulgakov. In this book, the author describes an elegant gala at Spaso House. Bulgakov's description was based on a real-life ball hosted by U.S. Ambassador William Bullitt in 1935, called the Spring Festival. Mikhail Bulgakov was among the guests of this ball. From the lounge, a long staircase leads to the upper lobby, behind which stands another tall staircase to the second floor living quarters. On the walls lining the staircase are historical black and white photographs from Spaso House's history, where one can see its former inhabitants and distinguished guests. The centerpiece of Spaso House is the chandelier room. Its two rows of windows, however, cannot be seen from the exterior composition of the main facade. The grand space impresses visitors coming from the lower lobby as they enter only from the side to the full effect of the room. This spatial composition is one of the most impressive in the Moscow architecture of the early 20th century. Ceremonial rooms of the first floor are attached to the chandelier room by apertures with columns, a typical architectural trick of the Moscow Empire style. Tall ionic columns support a strict cornice upon which powerful barrel vaults sit. The chandelier room's exaggerated dimensions dynamic architectural forms, and splendor 
of the stucco decor create a stunning theatrical effect. But the key piece in the room, its namesake, is the huge chandelier made of bronze and crystal. This stunning piece was made in the studio of the famous Vizhnevsky brothers, who also supplied crystal and bronze work to members of the Tsar's court. This chandelier is a true object of art, one that was much discussed in 1914 Moscow after it was unveiled. Spasau House's chandelier is the largest known chandelier in a private dwelling in all of Russia, enhancing the hall's theatrical design. A special touch added to Spasau House by its American residents is the artwork. The U.S. government's Art in Embassies program allows each new ambassador to choose American art for his or her residence, creating a rotating exhibit of American artwork at Spasso House. On one side of the chandelier room is a rectangular space called the music room, which is a more intimate area for conversation. The round ceiling is painted with delicate arabesques designed by Ignacy Nivinsky, who also painted the lobby. The small raised panels over the high semicircular mirrors draw attention to the room's height and white static figures on a blue background remind us of the sculptural decoration of the main exterior facade. However, their small size and color are also reminiscent of the rare and precious porcelain known as Wedgwood. On the other side of the hall is the oval dining room whose design breaks from the rest of the house into a Baroque style. The Rokai stucco includes scallops in rounded niches and cartouches of the mirror frames which echo the painted ceiling. The oval dining room's decor was also designed by the artist Ignacy Nivinsky. Among the decorative elements of this sophisticated grotesque style are tropical plants, flowers, and birds of paradise. Neoclassicism, as a retrospective style, in essence allows such contrast in decoration within a room or a building. Adjacent to the chandelier room is the state dining room with its truly eclectic style. Wood paneling, dark beams on the ceiling, and the heavy carved frame of the imposing fireplace make this spacious room almost cozy. The design here reminds one of a medieval hall. Through the state dining room is the ballroom, which the U.S. Embassy added to the house in 1933 when Spasso House became the residence of the U.S. Ambassador. The U.S. Embassy ensured the ballroom's design and decor honored Spasso House's original architectural style. One of the first events held in the ballroom was Sergei Prokofiev's opera, The Love for Three Oranges which was conducted by the composer himself. Today, as in the past, both American and Russian musicians, singers, and artists perform here for distinguished guests of the U.S. Ambassador. And now, we go back through the state dining room and chandelier room to the front stairs and find ourselves in the ante room. Its wide window was originally painted in the Empire style, but during World War II, a blast smashed the ornamental window. Today, only old photos allow us to see its original artistic appearance. To the left is the ambassador's library. The dominant feature of this comfortable room is the fireplace, which still works and is used to this day. Spasso House is considered the best work of architects Adamovich and Mayat. They designed and built not only a mansion, but an entire estate with a landscaped front yard, garden, and facility for housekeeping. There has been a garage, a barn, a shed, and a wash house on the property throughout its history. The housekeeping facility was built in a neoclassical style using strict Doric columns. The building, which is not open to the public, has a humble dignity typical of similar buildings in the classical style. After the revolution, the mansion housed the USSR's Central Statistical Office. It then served as the reception house for the All-Russian Central Executive Committee 
and the second floor was used for apartments. The People's Commissar for Foreign Affairs, Georgi Chichirin, lived here for several years as well until it passed to the U.S. Embassy. Thus, the construction of the mansion in 1913 coincided with the end of an epoch. The First World War was the beginning of a dramatic change, but Spasso House has stood the test of time and today is one of the most famous monuments to Moscow's early 20th century architecture. Spasso House is visited by hundreds of distinguished guests, including prominent musicians, scientists, and senior Russian and U.S. officials, including several U.S. presidents. Social and cultural events organized by the U.S. Embassy at Spasso House have always played an important role in establishing contacts between the United States and Russia. We hope you enjoyed this video tour of historic Spasso House the residence of the U.S. Ambassador in Moscow.